Well, the first thing I'd like to say is clearly salmon in the Pacific Coast are really important to Canadians and British Columbians. So they get a lot of attention inappropriately. So they're really important to Pacific coastal ecosystems, terrestrial systems, and out into the open ocean as well. If you think of the different interests that we have in them, it's commercial fisheries, recreational First Nations fisheries, of course, there's tourism, there's the importance of these salmon for feeding other species ranging from killer whales to eagles and fertilizing plants along the water courses. A lot of different interests here in salmon. We're in a, a new world here of appreciation of what these fish mean to people and I think that's something that's very hard for people to get if they don't actually live on the coast. So some of the challenges and issues that uh, salmon face are threats from human activities, including uh, freshwater habitat loss from urban development, farming, water extraction, those types of things, uh, unsustainable fishing practices, uh, disease and parasite impacts from open net pen, salmon farming, and climate change. Salmon are strange beasts because they have this life cycle that takes them through a large variety of habitats, everything from freshwater to the estuaries to the sea. That means that anything that we do that could be harmful in any of those habitats can potentially have uh, a real knock-on effect on these fish. Getting our fishing right and ensuring it's sustainable is really important for salmon because we rely on catching salmon uh, before they have a chance to reproduce. So one of the ways we can manage other fisheries is to ensure enough adults have, have reproduced before they're caught. With salmon, they only reproduce once, so if we want to catch them, we catch them before they spawn. And so ensuring the number we catch is sustainable to ensure there's enough salmon to spawn is really critical for salmon given that life history. I believe one of the key issues facing the wild BC salmon fishery, um, regardless of catch method or species, is being able to monitor which spawning grounds any particular run has originated from, which creek bed, which stream or lake that the fish actually originated from in order to be able to properly manage the fishery on a spawning grounds by spawning grounds system. The wild salmon policy does require Canada to take a proactive role in working particularly with the United States under the Pacific Salmon Treaty to protect salmon diversity. Uh, there's been progress on that front, but definitely more needs to be done. In terms of looking at the whole Pacific Rim, one of the core challenges that's becoming more and more apparent is the release of high numbers of hatchery-produced fish. We release so many now in the order of five billion into the Pacific Rim that uh, there's concerns around carrying capacity, the number of fish that, that the ocean can adequately feed, and whether that's causing challenges with some of the wild fish as well. Well, we still don't know enough about salmon ecology, right? It's very difficult to predict returns. In fact, we're uh, notoriously inefficient at predicting returns. Seventy percent of the times, predictions are way off. I said there was some uh, decrease in some stocks, but it wasn't like, where have all the salmon gone? It was, you know, we have some issues around uh, what do you want to protect? What do we need to protect? What does conservation mean? Managing it with uncertainty, I think uh, a good example is last year, Fraser Sockeye, we had a forecast of about 10 million fish that were going to return to the Fraser River system. Well, what did happen is we had a record return. We had uh, 30 million plus fish return. Did we anticipate that? No. Um, our science forecast had a large range around that, but even that uh, large return was on the upper end of that, uh, of that forecast. So what, did we, what, what do we do is don't just rely on a forecast. You have in-season tools that go out and collect information. So it's been adaptive uh, to changing circumstances.